in an uncomfortable environment could elicit some amount of stressful doses into one's system. It is for these reasons that community development associations and community development committees in Lagos State are partnering with the state government to help themselves at the same time help the government. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Adejoke Shodem de Adeyonju. How is your community faring today? Let's see. from Lagos Island, Ikeja and Ebute Meta, hunting, farming and trading expedita were predominantly the major occupation of early settlers of various communities in Lagos State. Located in Ikorodu North Local Council Development Area, a room where like most suburbs in Ikorodu, consists of seven villages, namely Abuli Adegba Lujo, Abuli Orishaoko, Abuli Keyolu, Abuli Ogunike, Abuli Awofusi, Abuli Balogun, and Abuli Oloye. The story of these communities is that of drive and passion. For members of Erunwe Community Development Association, the first step of liberation was coming together to form an organized body to champion the cause of community development. With the establishment, it was easy to embark on self-development projects to assist the government and also to help themselves. The combined CDA constitutes about 22 CDAs. All within Erunwe. Erunwe is a very large expanse of land in the heart of Ikorodu. And the combined CDA, we have about 22 of them, even a little bit more. Some are just coming up. But we work together. So that's why we say it's a combined CDA to take care of projects that are mutually related to every of the CDA. Years ago, Erunwe community epitomizes what not a community should be. But as with like minds, they were able to surmount their challenges. When we came here around uh, 1991, there were no too much houses here. And uh, the road, this existing road that lead here then was just a path, very narrow not as wide as it is. And those of us that came here then, we are not many. Very few houses, there was no electricity. And that is how we were living there. We have several villages. Tonje, don't come back to Tonje, you But that is what we have to do. We have to do our own work. 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 How can one live in a place without good roads? Portable water and electricity. Many people are coming in from outside to this very community, but what is depriving them is the road issue. The road issue. We have noticed that recently many people have started parking out due to the bad shape of the road. There are issues of accidents. Women go to markets as they are coming back, they fall on Okada. So these kind of things are the things that we have seen that we, we cannot continue having in the community. 
knowing fully well that government needs the supports of its citizenry. These passionate community developers took it upon themselves to put up projects, some of which they highlighted. As we are coming gradually, we thought of how to develop the area. And this makes us to come together to see what we can do to make the road more convenient and passable for us. And we contributed money and higher grader to make it what it is today. Part of what we have done is this uh, coffee we are standing on right now. Every electrical infrastructure you found in Enrue today, I categorically can tell you that were done by each of the CDAs. You will see that poles are there, wires, conductors are all over the place. Almost, at least let's say about 60-70% of the area is covered with proper conductors. I'm on your way to do that. I'm going to be a caterpillar. 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 You wonder where this community source for funds to embark on projects of this magnitude. They talk to us. Once in a month, CDA at your monilu, a man she pay the papo. That's the way we kill it. We talk to cool at touchy. That is she ni. In we make JJ. We talk she run run here. That she that toro kobo tabani. I remember that when we were about to do the covert, each individual paid ten thousand naira. Now, recently, last year, there was a kind of WhatsApp group that was created, and we are asked to pay money to activate that uh, Enrue Junction so that we can fill it. And very large volume of sand went into that uh, uh, Enrue Junction so that it can be at least manageable. We spent roughly close to five million naira to push this project in place so that we cannot be totally cut off. That is what we did. And so other uh, projects like that, that we continue to do. Having lifted their ends, the call on government and corporate organizations present in the community to use the call on community development by lifting them up. Likes of MTN, I think I've seen them, Etisalat, I've seen their mass here, to please come to our aid. And when road is bad they should please come to our aid and if in any way the cda writes to them they should please respond and respond fast we have like uh, AT, uh, uh, mtn uh, glow mobile airtel that have put their mass here they've never they have never done anything at all as i'm talking to you they have no contribution whatsoever to the development of this area so we expect them to come up and let's develop this place together i think they need to contribute their own quota to the development of our area so we are expecting them we are still waiting for them to see what they can do for us to develop this area When you inquire from Lagosians how they relate with traffic congestion on Lagos roads, you are bound to be told similar tales. With the bad roads, this uh, commercial vehicle, they are taxing people heavily. I would the other side, I would drop on a two dialofa. On a one wage, you know, with its loved and awful sounding synonyms, congestion, hold up, seek alert, 
lock jam and gridlock. People find traffic a terrific inconvenience. Traffic jam poses a lot of threat to economic activities of the state and well-being of the people. The two sides of this of Accra, right away from the bridge, is always blocked. Vehicles broke down on the road, particularly the trailers carrying items to the factory along of Accra. On the trailer, no one buys a car. Lumi nebiche. Follow my ekiche bolo wa. To get on baba show, no money buy okwe kuni. See problem for anybody. In a bid to achieve a traffic-free Lagos, Governor Baba Dide Sonwo Olu has devised a means of addressing the recurrent traffic congestion on Lagos roads. Recently, he gave an executive order to fix potholes posing threat to free flow of traffic on Lagos roads. Immediately, officials of the Lagos State Public Works Corporation swung into action. They were seen on roads working tirelessly day and night to rehabilitate them. to examine some of the rehabilitation works done on roads across the state. Lagos Community Update takes a tour to Ikeja, the seat of power of the Lagos state government. It's a good development that the new governor is rehabilitating the roads now. I must say kudos to the governor Governor Babaji de Sonwolu, he has started on a good note. And we pray that God will continue to help him to continue like that. I do want to say that I 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 but as at now, it's good now. But before, it's not good. We are very happy to see that uh, uh, Son Wolu is doing what he said he will do. But we want him to continue like that. We want that thing to continue. So that it will stop somewhere. We are happy with the one he has done. At least we are healthier, we are happier. While commending Lagos State Government, community stakeholders and other road users mentioned how the smooth movement on their roads would improve economic activities in the state. Because free. It says a lot of stress in terms of the number of hours spent on the road due to portals and it also saves uh, money. Well, some of the transporters, because of the bad road, they will inflate their fears. But now that they are doing rehabilitation, the price will be coming down gradually. If all the roads are good, economically it will help us. If you have a car, if your car is not um, yeah, it's, it's not developing faults every day. At least it will save you some coins in your pocket. So economically, it has helped us with the one he has done. Some days ago, Lagos uh, government sent some delegates to come and do some a little patchwork on the road. So we can be able to see, uh, like this our junction over here, they have patched it. If the Lagos state government patched the remaining portal, we have, to, we, have, we have to get a free movement in Okwebi. I want to call, call the state government to help us to complete the remaining portal for we to get a free movement.
of traffic appears free here. It wasn't like this prior to the executive order of Operation Zero Tolerance to portals in Lagos State by Governor Babajide Sonwolu. Before this, especially this town, this very runabout was rough. It was very, very rough that sometimes it caused a lot of hold up. Before we turn here, we find it difficult. But since they patched this place, it's very, very smooth and easy to turn without any stress. And there's no much hold up again like before here. I don't like flying here for about three, four months because the road is bad. I prefer flying on that road. It causes ghosts to spoil the car and some other things like that. Even people who are even into public motor, they find it difficult. People who are going to work in the morning, they find it difficult to get just as short as the road is to the major road. They find it difficult to get there. But it's a lot of hold up and inconveniences. Because some of people will tell you, because of your road, because of the environment, we have to park and the, the road is very bad. Some of them will come, their car will destroy, will, will destroy. At the end of the day, they will not complain that. So you can come and meet me at my office. Oguntolu Road in the Community Development Association is one of the ever busy road with various commercial activities. Little wonder why Shomoluluk government area is called the home of printing. To residents, commuters, and business owners, rehabilitating Oguntolu Road is the right step in the right order. People in the area, not even around the city alone, were are happy that the government from the state recognized their sufferings and yearnings, and in fact, coming to do the palliative measures, at least to keep them moving freely on the road without any hindrance. From Oguntolu, we visited George Road in Orile George Community Development Association, also pensioned for rehabilitation by the Lagos State Public Works in Shomoluluku government area. But here, they have a different story. There is always a traffic gridlock and jam on this road because people will be dodging for one pothole or the other. If they do the roads, and the benefit will be for all everybody, is for the um, residents, you see? For the people who are inside here, they will enjoy themselves, they say, ah, government is fine. Somebody here is the city of printers, and just is the city of printers. What we want now is to do the road for us, come here and do the job, simple. Yes, they came with their compact and driving roller, dump truck, and other materials needed to ameliorate the sufferings of the people, as others by Governor Babajide Sonwolu. <laughs> this are men of the Lagos State Public Works in action. I saw them working. They are, they are working, we are working, they are working very well, no problem. To see who I'm with them now, there's, there's no, nothing that can disturb us. To see. Everything will be moving smoothly. The business people here, they'll be enjoying. Ah, no portal, no all this is. When their customers come, they will just do their business and go away. But if there are a lot, if there are portals, I don't think any, anybody can come in and do the business. Lagos State is, is improving. I hope they will continue improving. We spoke to engineer Olale Konseriki, an official of the Lagos State Public Works. A committed officer with the seal to achieve Governor Sonwolu's dream of a greater Lagos through the achievement of the Operation Zero Tolerance to Porto's order for the benefit of the masses. This is uh, George Street, and for the past uh, four weeks or so, we've been working on Shomolu local government. We worked previously on uh, Ugutolu Street. And now we are now working on George Street. Last week we carried out this regulation work, which we have completed, and now we are now doing the asphalt ceiling. 
is what we are just doing behind us here. We are doing a rehabilitation work or we say a maintenance work to make the roads passable for road users. Some of the community, they are friendly, they even commend you for the job well done. Some mistress who come and demand for money. The rehabilitation as well as maintenance work is across the state and I would like to seize this medium to enjoy all the local governments and communities to give us their support so that the government can serve them better. We are having a listening governor, a governor that is ready to meet the yearning and the aspiration of the citizens, so to give them their ultimate support. Protecting social infrastructure is a civic duty expected of every responsible citizen of the state. To people of Shomolu local government area, supporting the government by maintaining the roads which has brought respite to them is the only way they can express their gratitude to the super performing governor Olushola Sonwolu, which they pledged to do. As uh, the community, our plan is to make sure that our drainages are clear. Because it's only where there are water storation during rain on the roads that causes damage. If the drainages are clear and there is free water when there is rainfall, there is no way. Vehicles don't just break down anyhow. And the road doesn't get put all anyhow. So this is when there is stagnation of water in some areas that it got deep and deep as we start passing on it. Shomolu is the hub of printing. A lot of heavy trucks used to bring in raw materials, paper, machine, and what have you, to the community. They come to pick finished jobs. Since palliative measures have started, it is going to help in the vehicular movement. We will always maintain the road and there are still some something I want to beg the government to do. If you look at my, my frontage, there are two abandoned vehicles. These buses have been here for two more two to three months. I don't know if they are stolen. When they were doing the road, patching the road, we tried to get the owners. They said I couldn't get them by his grace. Let them help us remove all these abandoned vehicles on the road. We will maintain it because we will not allow people to damage it. No cooking on the road. You don't do mechanic work on the road. The road is meant for vehicular movement, nothing more than vehicular movement. When the road is okay, it will attract more customers to those that are selling in that uh, wash tower market. I believe it's, it will add to the value of this environment. The benefits of the two roads, that is Ogutolu and George, you can come in through Shomolu from Onikpano. You go straight to George. When you get to Olaleye, you can branch out to link back to Ugutolu. You can link through Durosimi to link to Ugutolu. Anything that we see that is not okay, we need to challenge it. Anybody want to dig uh, the road for water or anything, we need to monitor it. Uh, most of the problem lies on the community itself. We need to monitor what government has done for, no matter how small. We need to take proper care of it. When you drive around Shumoli, you don't need to be told that the face of Shumoli has changed and will be changing for good. Our interest, involvement and commitment is required to take Lagos forward. We are mirrors of these great states. Let's join hands to take it to a greater height. With that, we wrap up today's episode of Lagos Community Update. Remember, you can join our social media platforms for comments and suggestions. And in case you have projects or programs going on in your community, do call the numbers on your screen. Do you also have someone that deserves to be our community champion? Don't hesitate to give us a call. I am Adi Joker, Shoden Adi Yoju. Remember, whatever you do, wherever you are, Never ever work against Lagos because Lagos is yours.